After making their first ever playoff appearance, the Blackwater Elite had a very busy offseason. The team traded away a prized big man Poi Eram for a pair of promising rookies in UP's Paul Desiderio and De La Salle's Abu Trader. The Elite also picked up UP's Jed Dario and also owned the rights to number two pick Ray Ray Parts, who's still playing in the ABL. So, Coach Boong, how excited are you with the rookies that are coming in and what are your expectations from these rookies? So, when I had this Abu, because Abu's here. Um, beef, when you were looking at Abu while he was in Lasan, mm -hmm. ano ba mo sa kanya and why did it make perfect sense na makuha siya ng Blackwater? Well, actually, when I saw him play for Lasan, he's playing the three position and the four position. He's not playing the five position. So I said I'll convert him to play the five position because he's a quick player. Siguro kung kukuni siya ng malalaki, kaya niya iwanan. And then, uh, sa talo na naman, Ano naman to, high leaper naman to. Umbaga sa ano, very athletic. The body built is good. So, uh, yun lang ha. Siyempre, rookie pa. Di ba? So, but I expect a lot na he will improve more. Marami pa tayong pwedeng squeeze sa kanya. O sige. Ikaw, Roy, being a veteran on this team, uh, ano yung mapapayo mo kay Abu after, you know, his first game in the PBA? Um, for me, siguro yung ano lang... Yung, kasi sometimes yung nagko-close out siya eh. Yung, alam mo naman, college, so konting fake tumatalon. So, ayun na siguro. Yung payo ko sa kanya, pag close out, tumatalon siya sa agad. Pero how happy naman, how happy were you sa kanyang PBA debut? Sobra happy kasi, na may nawala nga sa amin, syempre eh. Di professional, so di mo na kailangan mag-duel dun. So, kung sino yung nandyan, yun, dun, dun kami mag uh, tignan namin kung ano yung matutulong sa amin. Okay, so si Abu is not the only new guy on this team. Uh, gusto niyo gusto niyo talagang maakit yung UP fans, no? Kinuha niyo si Paul Desiderio yeah. at si Jay Godario. Yeah. Now, Paul Desiderio, ano ba nakikita mo? Ano ang nakita mo kay Paul Desiderio na parang, oy, bagay na bagay ito sa atin? Well, actually, no, si Paul naman is uh, outside shot, no? Three-point shot, meron din poste, meron din, meron din mag one on one no? And ang nagulat ako, he can play defense. Kung depensa na one-on-one, -on -one, kaya niyang dumipensa. So, malaking tulong yan para sa amin. Yun lang nga siguro, medyo nahihiya pa eh. So, I, I told him nga, Paul, kailangan medyo kapalan mo mukha mo dito. Sabi ko, <laughs> pag mahihain ka, mahirapan kang, ano, mahirapan kang umangat. So, kapalan mo mukha mo. So, sabi naman niya si Coach, unti-unti po, mabait na bata eh. Uh, uh, I don't know if uh, Abu if you understood that, but yung, uh, you know the term makapalang muka? Yeah, makapalang muka. Well, you've been in the Philippines long enough, yeah, you know what that yeah. means. Ay, Marami sa lasal na makapalang muka, right? <laughs> no comment. So, okay, so, <laughs> so with Paul's case, do you all, do you all feel that as a rookie that, you know, you have to, you have to like be gutsy enough to, you know, take the shot, take the big shot. Yes, you have to follow coach, but at the same time, you can't be like shy when you play. Exactly, yeah. Um, uh, Confidence is a big thing coming into the game. You know, um, you have such big talent going up against, you know, some of the best in the PBA. Uh, I think that confidence and, and that, like you said, kapal ng mukha, it goes a long way. Uh, Roy, yan ba? Ikaw ba? Papayo mo din ba yan? Kay Abu, kay Paul Desiderio, kay Diego Dario, na dapat, guys, when you're out there playing, uh, you cannot be tentative or dapat confident ka. Uh, sa game namin kagabi, sinabihan ko talaga si Paul. Uh, sinabihan ko siya na, Paul, pag meron ka, huwag ka mahiya. Kung tira mo, tira mo. Kung kaya mo one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one mo. Exactly din kay Diego, pag uh, ano, ready ka, ganyan. Kailangan, ano, pag may tira, tira, ganun. Huwag kayong mahiya kasi dumating ako sa ganyan eh, sa time ko eh. Sa global, nahihiya ako. So parang naisip ko, kung ganito yung mangyayari sa akin, walang mangyayari. Alam mo yun, pero siyempre dapat timing lang din yung gagawin mo, yung tira mo, yung asar, yung mga role mo, hindi naman pwedeng pag sinabing tira mo, tira mo na, di ba? So, kailangan timing din. So, parang balance, eh, no? knowing when to be confident and knowing when to, you know, like, stick to the system and, and running the play. Now, uh, a lot of fans will be asking this from now till the end of this ABL tournament, mm -hmm. na Ray Ray Parks, uh, Blackwater has his rights, uh, so, ano ba ang status ni Ray Ray uh, as of today, Coach Bo? Well, as of now, uh, kami pa rin naman ang may hawak ng rights. No? Uh, actually, nag-announce sa si Commissioner na 
he has to finish his ABL stint muna. And then after that, siguro by the second conference or middle of the second conference, dito na siya sa amin maglalaro. And then, uh, at kung matuloy nga si Ray Ray na mapunta siya sa Blackwater Elite, what will, what will his, his role be for your team? Well, actually, he, 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 he can play the two position. He can play the three position. Pag gusto ko ng malaking guardia, pwede ko siyang i-point guard. Paminsan-minsan. Kasi Mac Bello also can play the four sometimes, minsan three. So, so yun ang magiging position ni Ray Ray. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Uh, as potential uh, teammates of Ray Ray, uh, how do you see Ray Ray now as a player? I mean, how good is he uh, coming into his first season in the PBA? Um, I'm pretty excited, you know, just to be able to see him, you know, in the ABL level and see how, how he can impact the game. Um, and then coming on to our team, you know, he can help as a big guard, like Coach said. And um, I'm looking forward to him, you know, coming to practice. You know, Roy, didn't you have scoring duels against uh, Ray Ray before? Oh, how excited are you na baka magkasama kayo sa backcourt? Sobrang excited na. Ray, <laughs> kung naikinig ka ngayon, pare, tapusin mo na yung ABL, kailangan ka namin dito. <laughs> Ayan na, ha? Ayan na, sinasabi <laughs> rin. <laughs> sinasabi rin ni on, Ray. Super Sumang, Ray Ray, halika na, Ray, let's go! Let's go, Ray! Let's go! <laughs> let's go! Uh, ito, nakakatuwa rin yung ano. Do you, you have a young team? Yes. Yes. Uh, is it more fun or is it harder to coach a young team? You've been in this game so long, Coach Bong. Uh, yeah. uh, actually, uh, exciting kasi meron kang trying to improve na mga players, na mga bata, na maybe in two years' time, three years, they will become a superstar. No? Tapos, uh, maangat nila yung team namin so i want to ano to to take the challenge na ma, mag-improve yung team together with these players uh, kasi nakikita ko they, they are very potential no? yung rookies yung mga naiwan na tawagin na nating veterano or second year sa sa Black, Black, Blackwater I believe na yung talent na yan, kung may squeeze natin at magkaroon ng gelling, yung chemistry ma-develop, no? magkaroon ng character. Kasi as of now, alam mo, Miko, ang mahirap kasi ngayon, before we play the Noel Pilipino, isang tune-up lang kami. Not like when I prepared the team during the third conference, meron kaming naka-11, 12 games kami abroad. So when we came back, the chemistry is fully developed, the character of the team is there. So, nalaman ko yung, yung ma- kung paano sila i-maximize, yung strength nila, yung weakness nila, even sa ugali. No? Nalaman din nila yung sistema ko. Na mas- nakapag-adjust sila. But right now, I need that time. I still need that time. Kaya lang, nasa liga na kami. So, I have to push them a little bit more. Na medyo, makap- medyo bibilisan natin ang oh, jelly oh, process. Kung sa, ano, And this forward, Philippine Cup will be a learning yes. process for your team. Okay, we're not yet done. Roy Subang, Abu Trater, Coach Bong Ramos will still be here on the score. So uh, stay with us. We'll just take this short break.